morning YouTube we are working on another one it's a wonderful Monday morning we're gonna put as much solar as legally possible just kidding we're gonna put as much solar as space will allow this would be a leisure travel serenity so we're putting a easy start uh, multi plus 3000 watt uh, 600 amps of batteries um, 712 and uh, suitable MPPT so let's get started on this one okay so we are getting all the brackets put onto the panels and they're gonna go on like this so let me get right here like this so you can see it um, so we put a screw nut lock washer plus two washers bottom and top and then uh, just for temporary we don't put all the hardware on this yet because we're gonna be removing it to get everything mounted so we got lots of hardware and screws here over this way um, so let's get all this uh, connected uh, we're putting this on uh, five Renogy Eclipse panels and uh, they'll all be tilt let's get it done well that was easy okay so go power uh, 100 watt solar flex um, they are like double stick tape down to the roof which that's okay whatever but you've got these heat cracks it starts back here and it runs across several of these hope that is in focus is that one too yeah that's one too It's baking the roof. It's um, it's swelling up. I don't know if it's able to be seen or not on camera. I'll be able to see more once I get it clean. But I'm uh, removing four of these uh, 50 watt, 250 waters that were recently put on and 200 waters that were put on uh, from the factory about a year ago so in a year's time it has cooked the roof to the point where it's yellow it's still like uh, I mean the, the stuff sticks so well, it's separating in half before the adhesion lets go. It's pretty difficult. Yeah, she was a, like really bad afraid of heights to the point where like if I'd asked her to hand me something like coming up the ladder like this, she would come up about three steps and just I that's it I think, I think quite a little bit but if I thought of that oh yeah yeah you can't be afraid of and this isn't super high but you know for people that do have the fear um, this is not a good line of work I was really good at physics in high school. <laughs> Applying pressure. I got a I got an A plus in that course. There we go. Done. That that one didn't mess up though. Did you see any? No. It's... There must be a way the sun be this place more. This almost, or maybe it was, it was defect, defective from the factory. Could the be. Fiberglass. Yeah, could be. But it's got the same heat stuff on it that that one does. Yeah. With it. Uh, but no cracking. No cracking. So that's good. This one must be different. Mm hmm no, that's a... 
I have one crack. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's 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 right here. It's not. It's in line. I guess but it's it short. It's on, little. It's like this big. It depends on where the heat, the sun. Yes. Heat like more. Where Dude, you? That, that is gone. Yeah. Like yep. There's another one right there. They're much smaller mm -hmm. and more spread apart. There's another one. There's something about this something about line that line there. right there. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, we're on the roof of the Serenity. We got all of the uh, panels moved, uh, glued down, ridiculously glued down. We have, um, let's see, we have gotten a mock-up of the first panel. And the, the challenging part about this is this gutter. Let me get where you don't get the sun. So it's got a deep V in it. So it's either like you mount it on this side, it's too short on that side. So what I did was I took and I cheated. Get over here where you can see it better. So I took and I cut the bracket and, and I separated it and just let it run with the roof. So let me flip it around so you can see it. So it's not mounted yet, but that's just a dry fit. I wanted to see how it would work. And uh, I actually like it. I think it came out pretty well. I don't really like that corner sticking up, but I can take those off. And it'll still tilt just the same. Um, you use these holes here when this is down properly. Um, you'll use these holes here when you tip it up. There'll be you use your bracket between here and then uh, when you go this way you use these holes from here to, to up on this piece and it keeps everything much more level it does twist the panel a little bit it's it's kind of tilted out just a little bit because of the uh, the way that that this curve goes um, but anyhow, I'm a fan. Came out good. So this is the obverse. So, and it fits right down in there. Had to take a big chunk out of the bracket, but it worked out. Okay, good morning. Uh, today is day two or three, I don't know, they all run together. Anyhow, um, so it's uh, started raining a little bit. It's like 42 degrees and rain, one of my favorite times of year. Uh, so what we're doing today while it's raining is we're doing a lot of the inside stuff. So still on the Serenity, uh, Leisure Travel Serenity. Um, here is the existing Magnum inverter. We're going to pop that out, pop in a uh, multi plus 3000 watt inverter. Let's go inside the coach. I've already got the batteries removed, so it might be a little dark. So, inside the coach, we are going to fit six batteries in this general vicinity. So I know I can get at least four, maybe five, down in here. Um, and then if I have to, um, take this drawer, cut it off about right here, move it forward, fifth, uh, sixth battery right here. And then uh, MPPT is going to go uh, in basically under this cabinet at the very bottom. It'll, uh, when you pull the drawer out, there's a, a section that goes all the way down to the floor. All right, so uh, all this stuff that comes in from the roof is actually up in here. Um, it's gonna go 
down behind this cabinet all the way to the floor and then across behind all of this over to there uh, but in the meantime it's going to pick up uh, the solar wires are right here right here and um, oh, there's the rain I gotta go get my tools out of the water weather so anyhow gotta run okay so we've got the magnum removed this is um, they brought power over to it and then uh, turn around and sent power back and um, the way that they had it wired it only made uh, two outlets in the RV work whenever they were dry camping so we're gonna make the whole coach work so we got to make some adjustments this wire is just not big enough uh, to be able to do that so we've got to run some uh, uh, 10 gauge up and right above here uh, a little bit over actually it's above this compartment is where the um, uh, up here is where all of the electronics are uh, that I was showing earlier so let's get it done all right got everything cleared out now let's take some measurements okay so our compartment is exactly eight inches Hmm. Hmm. Eight and five sixteenths. That's not even accounting for this. And there's another one at the bottom. Hmm. So this is where it's supposed to go. It's a beautiful space for it to be, but this on the back wall sideways, cut a large hole here for the vent, for the fan, and then sits right there. Either that or I'm going to stick it around the corner where uh, it's kind of dead space anyhow, and then uh, let's just see which option the customer would like to go with. So, let's go ask the question. Good morning YouTube. Got a bunch of stuff planned and wrapped up last night. Let's see. Five batteries in this area. Multi plus and sixth battery in this area. Right down here. Nice little shot of where the uh, MPPT is going to sit and then all the wiring comes in from right over here and goes down run behind that and then go down and uh, we're putting a color GX he wants it mounted in that hole and then um, he's got a bird's eye camera system that he asked me to just uh, bring the wires in with it so what I'm doing right now is these pieces here go as a little platform right here to put two batteries vertically right here behind this uh, back of this seat back so uh, let's get it going Day is another new day. So let's show the progress that we've gotten done on this. So we have one, two, three, four, five batteries all connected. 
and wired. Got the multi plus in place. The door is going to go this way, fold down. It's going to clasp at the top. Um, we're going to have the shutoffs in this area, fuses in this area, so that uh, it's easily accessible. Um, we have the MPPT still in the same place under the drawers and the color GX CGX is going up into the wardrobe. Uh, he has, also has a camera system that will be the brain for it will be up in the uh, oh, what's it called uh, like the top of the wardrobe and my better half is calling so I better get that.